when you realize there's more than one narcissist. Narcissists rarely work alone. They're like roaches. If you see one, there's usually more. Although you may be unaware of them because they will hide from you. But they're actually no different to the narcissist. They're insincere and deceitful. They have too much interest in small and unimportant matters. Which is why you need to be aware of who is in your circle. You need to be aware of who is united with you. And who is just pretending. Because there's a lot of fake people in this world. And when you're involved with a narcissist, they will study your friends and family members to see who's not really down with you, to see who's not really on your side. And those are the people that they will turn into their flying monkeys. But they were always envious of you. They were always against you. They stuck around to witness your loss of power, prosperity and status. Or because they thought they could get something out of you. But they still want to see you lose favour. They still want to see you lose your position of power and honour so that they can gossip about you and put you down and those are the types of people that the narcissist is looking for they want to become friends with those types of people so that they can find out information which they can use against you the narcissist will use their flying monkeys to defeat you because they may be people that you haven't identified as a potential threat. You may not realize that they're already against you, which is how it's so easy for the narcissist to team up with them against you. The flying monkeys will reveal your personal information to the narcissist. They will tell them where you are, who you're with and what you're doing. Because you're giving them this information. You think they're a friend or a family member. You don't realize that they're an enemy as well. Which is why you may wonder how the narcissist has all of this information. You may wonder how they know where you are. You may wonder how they know who you're with and what you're doing. But it's because someone in your circle is letting them know. Someone is leaking personal information about you to the narcissist. Someone is being fake. And unfortunately, there are a lot of fake people in this world. People who act like they have your best interest in mind. People who act like they want the best for you. But they're not doing anything for you. They're just hanging around to get things from you. But they wouldn't mind watching you lose your position of power and honor. Because they don't like you anyway. They're just using you. Which is why they will team up with a narcissist to go against you. Because deep down they want to take you down. But if they can't do that, they will just use you up and discard you. You need to check and examine your social circle. 
to see who's really down with you and who may be willing to go against you because if you don't do that they will collaborate with and give their support to those who are in direct opposition to you but they will play their role they will act like they're on your side until the time is right and then they will plot to take you down if someone is loyal to you they're never going to be a flying monkey they're never going to be in opposition to you they're never going to be against you if they're really with you for you if they really love you and care about you but some people are selfish they're just with you for their own personal gain to get something for themselves and they will be the first people to betray you they will be the first people to turn against you because they were never with you anyway they were only there to get something out of you they were never really on your side so they will be quick to side with the narcissist and they will develop a strategy to remove you forcibly from power but they won't reveal this to you initially they will reveal your secrets to them they will lie they will exaggerate it they will twist it to make them dislike you even more so that they're willing to act on their behalf to take you down if you have weak people in your social circle they're going to be the first ones to betray you they're going to be the first ones to go to the other side they're not going to stand up for you they're not going to defend you they're not going to fight for you they're going to switch it up real quick and easy because they're weak people so they will be the first people to turn against you they will be the first people to betray you which is why you need to put yourself in a position where you cannot be taken advantage of so easily because that's the first thing they're going to do when they get the chance they're going to exploit you they're going to go against you they're going to steal your information they're going to reveal things about your situation things that people shouldn't know because they're weak people so anyone can come in and use them to their advantage anyone can turn them against you because they were never really with you anyway which is why they will go behind your back and reveal secrets and personal information about you to people who are directly in opposition to you and you will wonder how they could have this information they're not going to tell you that they're in contact with them because they're both on the same team against you they're of the same kind you must guard and protect your social circle you must test those who are around you because people will act like they're in your corner they will act like they're on your side but they're not willing to fight for you they're not willing to give everything they have they're not willing to go to war they're not willing to do all of that they're just lurking around because they're getting something from you
Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsafire.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.